Are you struggling with Canva images that are blurry after you download them? Today, I'm sharing my tips with you on how to get crisp, clean Canva images for all your needs. Today, we're gonna talk about blurry Canva images and how to get crisp, clean images for all of your needs. I know it's a struggle out there. I hear it all the time. People download their Canva images and then they look fine, but as soon as you upload them to your social or into an email, they have a slight blur to them. They look a little bit off. So today I'm gonna show you why that's happening and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So I've got three tools. Um, the first tool is 100% free. You don't even have to put your email in. The second tools are gonna be Photoshop if you have that, along with Adobe Pro. Um, my two favorites really are gonna be this free tool and Photoshop. If you have Photoshop, that's the best way to do it. And I'm gonna show you all three ways. So let's hop over into Canva now. So I'm just gonna use one of their templates just to show you real quick. I've actually already downloaded these files to make it easier, but I wanna talk about what the options are. So when you go to share and you click download, under file type, there's really three that I use for my graphics. First is the PNG. That's a higher quality image. I like it because you can download an image and you can make the background transparent. And when you open and close the file, open and save it, it doesn't lose any quality. Whereas a JPEG is a smaller size file, which is great for websites and loading purposes. The problem with the JPEG is every time you, o you open it <clears throat> and either you save it or you upload it to something else, it will lose a little bit of its quality. Um, the third one is gonna be PDF. This is our high quality print. This is usually what you're gonna use when you're gonna print a document. So the PDF print is my favorite here. I'm gonna show you what the difference of these three are when we download them from Canva. Usually we don't have to worry about print quality image, but the way that Canva downloads their images, I find that if I follow that rule, that I get much more clear and crisp images. I've downloaded the PNG file, the JPEG file, and the PDF file. These are all from Canva. I'm gonna open up all three of them so you can see side by side the difference. <clears throat> so on first glance, lost my other page here. On first glance, they all look relatively the same. Um, you might see a little bit of color differences, you know, the different files kind of bring out different features and they don't, they're not all exact. But let's go ahead and zoom in. So you can see here is the JPEG file, the PNG file, this is the PDF file. So you can see that there's a difference even between the PNG and the JPEG file. So the PNG is a little bit more clear, there's less distortion, but on both of them you can see you can see the little boxes. So those are the pixels. Um, and you can see in the JPEG file over here, there's a little distortion even outside of like the actual font. So you can see that those are a little bit different. So I wanna hop back over into the files here so I can show you the difference in resolution. So a PNG file and the JPEG file from Canva, they're gonna be the same resolution. One is gonna be a higher quality, so the PNG is the higher quality image. So you'll see that the resolution is 96. It's a 1080 by 1080. For the JPEG, it's the same. It's a 96, 1080 by 1080. So where you're seeing the difference is gonna be right here in the file size. So the JPEG is an 89 kilobyte. And this one is 842 kilobytes. So both these files are small enough to be fast loading on a website, which is great. Except you saw that there's some blurriness to it. So this is where we're gonna see a huge difference is over in the PDF file. So this one, you can see the resolution is giant. It's 810 by 810. It's a long way from 96 by 96. But it's not a format and the, it's not a format we can use on our email, well, on our emails and our websites or on social, <clears throat> on all social platforms. It doesn't come up as an image. Like we can use it as a document in those, some of those cases, but you can't use it as an image. So we need to change that. And also it's a 3.7 megabyte. That's far too large for a website or any um, image that you're gonna be using online. 
but that's not why we downloaded the PDF. We downloaded the PDF to convert it into something that we can use that's clear, but it's also in a file size that is workable for our website. So let's close these out and I'm gonna show you the tools that I use to make these work for us. So one of my favorites is actually smallpdf.com. For whatever reason, um, I tried it today and it's just not working. I don't know if they have a glitch. I had it, I had used it the other day and it was working just fine. But this one's even better. I think in a sense, you don't even have to sign up for an account. You don't even have to put your email in. It is a PDF number two, jpg.net. So we're gonna choose our PDF file. This is it right here. I'm gonna convert it to a JPEG for it to download. It doesn't take very long. So then you're gonna click download here and you get these ads, but you know, it's free. So not going to complain. Oh, I downloaded it twice. All right, so now let's go into our downloads and I'm gonna drop it into our file here. So this is the file that was converted. So now we're looking at a file with a resolution of 150 by 150, which is good. It's higher than those other two from Canva. And the file size is 166 kilobytes. So it has a higher resolution, but it's a smaller file than even the JPEG. So the JPEG is a, is a larger file, but the resolution is smaller. So now let's take a look at this compared to the PNG and the JPEG from Canva. So we're gonna compare the direct downloads from Canva with the converted file. So we're gonna zoom in. <clears throat> this might be a little too big. Oops, there we go. Okay, so now you can see this one on the left is the one we just converted from a PDF to a JPEG. It has the higher resolution and it's a smaller file size. This middle one is the PNG that we downloaded from Canva and didn't edit at all. And then this one on the far right here is the JPEG that we downloaded directly from Canva. And you can see even these two together, a huge difference, right? Yeah. So that's my favorite free way of downloading or converting an image from a PDF into a JPEG that's going to work for your website. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop, this is my favorite. It's so easy. You're going to just open it in Photoshop. You're going to go to file a couple different ways. You can do it. You can do save as, or we can do an export. I'm just going to export because it's quick. You can do a quick PNG export. You can export as we are going to export as JPEG. I'm going to do a very good quality here and then I'm gonna export it. Now I'm gonna name it so we know. So let's hop back in here, <clears throat> open this up. Now I'm only gonna open up the JPEGs because we know the difference between you know all of them. But let's show you the difference between <clears throat> the Canva JPEG here on the right. In the middle, we are doing, this is the converted one. This is the one we converted with the website. And then this is the one that we converted with Photoshop. So scroll in five times. Ooh, that one looks pretty clear to me. This is the one that we converted. So you're probably already seeing why Photoshop is definitely my favorite, but if you don't have Photoshop, I know it can be expensive. So, um, you know, if you don't have it, the free version is pretty darn good. It's definitely better than Canva. So this is Canva, this is our converted one, and then this is the one from Photoshop. So once you upload these, you're gonna see that they're very crisp and clear, and you won't have that slight blur that you get when you download it and use it directly from Canva. So. Super easy, it doesn't take very long. I just wanted to show the different ways. The other way that you can do um, a conversion is if you do have the Adobe Pro, 
it still doesn't come out as good as the, the free conversion, um, but if you have Adobe Pro and that's what you're paying for, I would just say try both. I would try using Adobe Pro. You're gonna do the same thing we did with Photoshop. You're just gonna file, export, um, and then you're gonna export it as an image. And then you can try the free version and then you can see which one works. They might both be just fine once you upload them. Um, the, the detail is always in this, like the zoom in. So once you zoom in, that's really where you can see like a quality of the image. If you can see the pixels, then you know it might be a little bit blurry once you upload it to the web. Um, but for the time being, that should be a really easy solution. So if you like this video, subscribe so you can get more of our videos. We talk about Canva, we talk about business tech and productivity. And if you're a local business who's wearing all the hats in your business, that's what we specialize in. We're here to support you as a solo business owner or a business owner with a small team. And we help you and your team really hit the mark with your online marketing and help you grow your business using online marketing. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to all of our future videos.